Hello, Broken Arrow. I'm Aaron McCulloch, Director of Communications for the City of Broken Arrow. This is at-large counselor Johnny Parks, and you are watching mm -hmm. City Council Rewind for the meetings for October 15th. Counselor, thank you for joining us today. Well, it's great to be here. It's great to be here. It's tough to wake up after a long meeting last night, but uh, it's, it's, it's good to be here. A long and productive a meeting, too. Well, I, I like to think it was very productive. I, I do as well. Productive. I yeah. do as well. A lot of infrastructure things on the agenda last night, and I know that's right up your alley. It's it's one of those things that you're incredibly passionate about. I like that. We need to keep the infrastructure there for our citizens and uh, needs to be available, and we also need to be looking at the future. So we, we try to do a good job doing that. Well, let's get right into that. You and the counselors approved uh, the ninth series of sales from the 2018 General Obligation Bond. $23.5 million in bonds that were sold last night, 15 different projects. Anything from that list of projects stick out to you that, uh, that, you're, that you're really excited about? Well, I'm, I'm excited about most everything that's in the 2018 bond issue. How and can I'm, you not be? Uh, right, all right. That was a $211 million bond issue that we come about. The citizens helped to plan and decide that, and these are just some of the things they've decided on. And this is the next to the last uh, sale of those bonds. And so those bonds, that $211 million, is spread out over the t uh, supposedly 10 years, but we paid them off so early that it's going to be over eight years. Uh, and that uh, it really can tell uh, how the community responds to it. Excited about different streets. Sometimes we forget that, well, they're there because we voted on them, but they do. I, I appreciate the uh, that sale was for, uh, as mentioned, was $23.5 million. And uh, one of those sales was for the uh, Houston Street from 9th Street, that would be what us old timers call Lynn Lane, mm -hmm. from 9th Street to Highway 51, five lane in that. The engineering is done on it, and this is to actually build the uh, the road. So that will be started here this next year. Another one is the same uh, type of issue, but that is from um, uh, the soccer people and uh, the people down at the Indian Springs Complex will be excited about this. But from uh, Tucson to what they call Shreveport, which I call Indian Springs Complex. So it's five lane in that road. Again, that is the engineering and everything's been done that is for the actual building of that road and that'll be done uh, another part of that issue without going to ever ever small uh, one is 4.1 million the 4.1 million uh is for part of the bond issue for repairing residential streets and they've gone in the city has each year and taken the the streets that are the i call the not the best uh, and try to catch them before they get really too bad. But uh, this is to go into that. But what we need to remember is that there's also a, a, a uh, partial percentage of our sales tax goes into streets uh, for our subdivisions. So that's another $4 million. So that's $8 million that that program will have uh, at that particular time. On this particular sale also was uh, quite a few parks uh, uh, involved with that. In fact, 3.6 million of that was for the park system. Uh, Neenhouse Park was for football turf to go on the football fields, and that is really great for the young people to uh, see that. I think there's some smaller high schools that even play on our Neenhouse Parks, you know, oh, really? at some time. Uh, yeah, I believe Summit has ball games on those uh, at Neenhouse Park. But anyway, uh, to put uh, turf on that, uh, I noticed that last night there was four or five that is involved with the uh, trails and uh, walking and walkability, uh, rideability with bicycles. Uh, several of that is showing up on that uh, $3.6 million for that Proposition uh, 3. So we're very excited about uh, that selling that bond issue. We got a good percentage rate of interest, so uh, we're ready to go with that. Uh, and we're certainly ready to start looking at and go with our 2026 bond issue. Well, staying with that uh, that travel theme and the infrastructure theme, you and council also approved a design contract last night for the New Orleans Street Widening Project. This is from Garnett Road to Olive Avenue, 129th East Avenue for some folks. This was a $736,000 design contract. 
the company Poet Associates is going to design the improvements. This is one of those 2018 approved projects. How important is this? I mean, that's one of those arterials east-west into and out of Broken Arrow into Tulsa. Well, this is a, extremely important. And as I said earlier, that we spent the, we sold the bonds to build uh, these two or three large roads uh, this, this next year. Uh, we couldn't do that if we hadn't already done the engineering and already completed all that, know how much it's going to cost. We need to know how much it's going to cost, the engineering on it, nearly before we sell the bond on it so we know how much the bond's going to cost. Uh, in this particular road, uh, 101st from Garnett, uh, from Garnett to Olive, uh, there's some low areas in there. There's a, a bridge, a large bridge over uh, uh, Hakey Creek. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's a lot of engineering to do it. And, and, and I believe that as I was looking at it, I think there's a plan on a sidewalk on both sides of the uh, road. We're trying to build a little bit wider sidewalks now again back to the walkability so that will be in Poe's uh, engineering as you say it's a little over seven hundred thousand dollars just to put in paper what we're going to have to do so uh, I'm excited about that so the more engineering we get done the more construction we can get done with a new bond issue um, as a former plumber do you still do you still do any plumbing work no but I think about it a lot well then you're really going to enjoy this <laughs> You all awarded a contract last night for the construction of a new elevated water tank out in South Broken Arrow, two and a half million gallons. Mm -hmm. How big is this for, for South Broken Arrow? It's a big deal. And that's big for all of Broken Arrow, but particularly South Broken Arrow, because it does give us more storage. What I was pleased about, and, and the largest discussion was on uh, exactly the logo on the side, but my biggest uh, pleasing about it was more pleasurable was the size of the tank because the tank was bid out at a, a million gallon tank and it was supposed to be a million gallon a second bid of a two and a half million gallon and the two and a half billion come within our budget so it's going to be a two and a half million gallon tank so that's two and a half times as large as the one it's at New Orleans Square mm -hmm. now it's not going to look just like the golf ball type uh, yep. But it's going to be more of a concrete-looking uh, uh, tower, but it will look nice. It's a $10.7 million contract. Uh, the contract timeline is about 480 days. It's going to be out there at the northeast corner of New Orleans and Lynn Lane. And so construction will probably start sometime 2025. At some point in 2026, it'll be erected. And if you're curious about what it looks like, there's Branson is a hop, skip, and a jump away from us. A lot of people go up to Branson for a weekend getaway. You probably recognize the water tower they have there with the, the Branson logo. It's going to look just like that. Only it won't, ours won't have the Branson logo. It'll have the City of Broken Arrow logo. In addition to those items, there are about 60 other items on the agendas. For more about those, go to the City website and click on Agendas and Minutes in the Government section. Click on the Date Range drop-down list and then select the governing body. Find the meeting date of your choice and select the meeting details. Okay, that's it for this edition of City Council Rewind. The next regular meeting is Election Day, November 5th. Councilor Parks, I sure appreciate you joining us. Do you have any parting words that you want to leave the citizens with? Uh, you know, it's a, a busy time for Broken Arrow, busy time for the City Council. Uh, I might remind you that our Elam Park, our new park in the southwestern part of the City of Broken Arrow, has its uh, grand opening for Phase 1. Now, it's going to be a large park, but the Phase 1 part is next week. So check the website out and uh, meet us out there. But we'll have that grand opening of that. My granddaughter will be there. Well, she'll be there. She'll be evaluating it and she'll, giving you a grade. She'll be evaluating. I don't like it thinking me as a grade, but she's grading the whole city. <laughs> been providing you with a grade about the park. <laughs> she lets me know. She lets me know. Well, we, we certainly hope it meets her expectations. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Thank you for watching. This is a production of the City of Broken Arrow, the city where opportunity lives.